Frankie, thank you very much. Yeah? <coughs> Excuse That's me. Bl <laughs> bless you, dude. I was trying to, I just want to turn because I was trying to do the. Do you sneeze in the sun? You know, some no, people look I at the don't. sun and they sneeze. Really? It's, a, it's, a, it's a, little, a real thing. It's a gene. I've never heard of that. Yeah. Before. I got a whiff of allergy type stuff. So uh, I was like trying, trying. That's why I turned yeah. away from yeah. you guys. Yeah. But I was also looking at the super wheel here, the sky wheel that yeah. you're going to be going on. Well, you and I. Devo and I yeah. and the cameraman Gaetan will be going in there. Right, Gate? You're coming with us? All right. So I'm, I'm allergic to heights, <laughs> so I can start sneezing too. We can play this game all day, Devo. We can play this game all day. Ooh, all right. Uh, we have a ton to get to here. Let's do the bright spot. Yes. I'm very happy this made the bright spot. I was going to pitch this. Um, look, it's college so cool. football in the United States is a monster, okay? Crowds of 80, 90, 100,000 people. It, they're very common. For, for women's volleyball, they're not. But earlier this week in Omaha, Nebraska, they got 92,000 people for a women's volleyball game for Nebraska. It was incredible, the sight. Uh, they broke a world record for largest attendance at a women's sporting event. Previous record was 91,600 and I believe a Real Madrid Barcelona women's soccer game in Spain. It was UEFA game, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the University of Nebraska came up big. They won. Really, they were never going to lose considering the crowd in front of them. The scenes, though, Devo and Tam were extraordinary. They were absolutely extraordinary. Yeah, it was, I love seeing this because people always talk about men's sports, women's sports, well, you know, and they don't support. The support for this was unbelievable. Uh, the capacity for a men's football game there for the Cornhuskers is 81,000. Then to get people on the field and surrounding this court, they made it, they turned it into a movie, yeah. really. To get up to that many people for the support, this is a team that's been a championship team five times, I believe. Uh, a couple years ago, when they were in the final, they got up to about 19,000 fans to come watch them. So there is a support they there. Well, normally. Yeah, yes. and I love seeing for women's sports, everybody going out and it getting the love and recognition that it deserves. My favorite part of this whole thing was seeing the team running out on yeah. the field. It looked like it was a Super Bowl, like, yeah. and, it, and it was for them, right? So just seeing not just the love in the crowd, but just all the production that went into it as well is incredible. I cannot believe that they beat a UEFA Game. A European like, soccer. I cannot yeah. believe that. They beat it. You cannot believe that. Yeah. 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 It's so, so wild. Yeah. Incredible. Honestly, in, in collegiate sports, especially in the States, men's sports gets the attention. Yeah. Let's put some more attention on women's there sports, here. man. Especially Listen, when women's professional actions. hockey league got going this week. We saw the news. Mm -hmm. we're, we're getting there. Place we should have been a long time ago. That is your bright spot. The visual, unbelievable. All right.